Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another season of Haikyuu. This is the one, okay? This is the one. Season 4 of Haikyuu is here today. We already know if you guys saw, if you have not seen my reaction to season 3, go check that out. And if you have not seen my reaction to Riku versus Ku, the OVA showing how Nekoma got to the Nationals, um, go check that out. That was aired last Saturday. Go check that out before you start out with season, unless you're just not interested in watching OVAs. But in any case, we are here once again with some more Haikyuu. I am ready to go to see what these guys, what level did we get a level up for season four? Or I don't know. I don't know. All I know, I expect greatness. We already know that there's a second part for season four to come out. It got interrupted because of the coronavirus. We know this. COVID-19, yes, has interrupted everything. So without no further ado, we know that they made it to nationals. There's not much to talk about here. Let's just jump in and see what they have to offer. If I'm going up for a long session right now, a long session, I'm going to do probably like half of these in this session that I'm sitting down here you guys are gonna get two a day of course so what I'm gonna be doing as I've already structured it out I don't care how the season is going how I've structured it you get two episodes per day and on the last one I'm going to do three so I'm gonna do three episodes so it's gonna be 11 12 and 13 together okay so you will get those episodes um i'll probably schedule that for a saturday i don't know yet or i'll just rotate it back to monday who knows if it's if if it's fire enough uh, for ending i'll do it for saturday i'll schedule it for saturday and you guys could just enjoy that for the week and then we move on to different stuff on monday but for now we're enjoying iq um i have not started to react to slam dunk yet but as soon as i finish this up i'm going to start with slam dunk so you guys already knew that i was doing this this is not a secret you already know that i was going to do slam dunk is to replace the sports anime people say oh it's a sports it's it's sports and it's a classic so you gonna have two classics running no it's sports there's not a lot of modern sports anime out there how many sports anime out there have the kind of hype that that is not a classic right now that's pretty modern like still going on right now as iq let, let, let's be honest hmm there's there's no other sports anime that's as hype that is not a classic that's in the realm of I Haikyuu's, Haikyuu's hypeness or, you know what I'm saying, presence right now, popularity right now. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. Because Haikyuu is the only sports anime anybody talks about today. When it comes on to it being modern going on right now, it has the most hype, right? We can't put stuff like Ippo and all that some people i think somebody had suggested at some point some baseball anime or, or something of the sort i have i'm going to check those out slam dunk is only like a hundred and something episodes i'm gonna knock that out really quick guys i'm home <laughs> i'll let you guys know because you guys think i'm joking and i say i'm reacting like crazy right now like i'm trying to get through series as much as fast as possible so with that being said I know by now membership should be live on the channel so you should be signing up so you can get early access for when those new series start on the channel because all those new series are gonna be for early access all of them right I still haven't told you guys what the classic is going to be okay you should know you can go back and check okay and see what got the most mostly suggested by everyone Cause I checked it and I write it down. 
okay and that's what i'm doing and then we're going to move on to the next one of course um you guys said that anime is going to be good i haven't started it yet but i will be right i will be reacting to it simultaneously along slam dunk of course so there's much to do there is much to do right i've already dot do um, what's the what's future tense of what's the future tense of dive D divin <laughs> dovin what the <laughs> i'm laughing at myself is there a future tense for 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 dive i know you have dive and dove but is there a future tense for 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 dive I don't know just doesn't sound right <laughs> but anyways um let's jump into these reactions man and i will see you guys for the review all right what's going on guys welcome back episode one and two of season four is through Oh my god, oh my god. This show is is so good. It's it's such a good story. Um I wouldn't go as far to say that it's as good as say uh Ippo or stuff like that. Ippo is just on another level of sports anime. Like it's gonna be hard to top for me. Um I know I haven't really judged any like judged really the anime yet because i'm waiting until i caught up to actually say this but we're in the final season i'm gonna start talking about stuff like this now in my reviews because to um make comparisons and stuff like that haikyuu is its own anime but at the same time it does falls into the the category the category of sports i don't know if sports shonen is a thing but <laughs> you know what i'm saying but um, but it's definitely sports um, You know what I mean and it's it's one of those inspirational Guides to life kind of anime, you know what I mean? It, it's like it's putting things into perspective for you because in some way somehow You can look at life itself as, as a sport. We're all trying to be the best at something well let me not say all because some people just don't give a shit so let's just say most people are trying to be the best even when they pretend like they don't want to be the best we want to be the best at something you might not get there but it's what you're striving for you get what i'm saying you don't like to see other people be the best and waste a waste that being the best ie stuff that i talk about on the channel all the time people who are extremely talented and they waste it they don't want to work hard because they feel like they have all the talent in the world and it comes naturally to them so they don't feel like they have to work hard at what they're good at so that's one of the things that i love about this this anime is the contrast also between with with kageyama is a hard working genius and hinata which is the the um the poor man's genius you know what i'm saying kind of kind of guy you know what i mean the guy who has to work for super hard for everything he attains in life you know what i mean and it really goes to show you um the difference between the two as i said sukishima he's a genius on defense he's good at it he's really good at it damn and and he's working hard to get to perfection you know what i mean um so for him to be in this position of ball boy beginning this season it, it's gonna knock him down a few to let him understand that listen you have to get in my opinion what this is going to teach hinata is i have to get better without kageyama he needs to be his own person and hone his individual skills so that when he returns he can be like yo we ready out here so if um when it comes to 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 hinata and as i said i said plenty during the, the episodes of course i hope you guys grab on to most of what i said and understand that 
you know what i'm saying you gotta work hard man you gotta keep pushing you know walk over the haters don't let what people say affect you as much you know what i'm saying the thing about it is this when people tell when people say certain things to you and it riles you up it gets you up it is like i don't know it's up to you because people are going to talk shit to you whether they mean well or they don't mean well or they saying some shit to you to get you mad so you get up off your butt you get what i'm saying is how you the individual gets up through it and and move on to the next level and get to the next level and you're gonna find haters on every level you're gonna find people who don't want to see you succeed on every level in every corner of life okay so you have to succeed regardless of them you have to step over them and be like i'm gonna get where i want to get because that's where i want to go to that's my goal i'm gonna keep working hard until i get to my goal um for hinata you know what i'm saying he really had to really question himself there and i agree I, I love that they did that because he really had to question why is he there because he just he kind he, he just showed up and he ended up staying there and he didn't get sent straight back home you know what i'm saying so what is your purpose here you know what i'm saying what is your purpose is, is it really just now you're just a ball boy so what's your purpose what's your purpose because I'm pretty sure he went there with the hope that they'll let him practice, that they'll let him do all these things, but he really didn't think about it, obviously, because they did that scene of him really wondering, why am I here? So we're going to get to see that, I'm guessing, in the next couple of episodes, if he's going to figure out why exactly is he there. He can't waste this opportunity because it is an opportunity, regardless of if he doesn't get to practice with them or not it's still an opportunity they're spiking balls to you you can practice your digs you can you get what i'm saying you can practice um getting the ball up you can practice doing that you are a ball boy but they are spiking balls to you you get what i'm saying so you can practice you are a volleyball player you can practice you don't have to catch the ball every time you get what i'm saying and even catching the ball and get into the ball you get what i'm saying you know you can practice your defense on that front but you're also getting to see certain things how defense work watching the court there's all these little nuances of things that he can get a vast amount of knowledge from looking from looking at a game or people play from the sidelines one of the things that people um this is how players on the bench supposed to act players on the bench are supposed to watch what's going on in the game so if something happens and they have to jump in they can jump in and just go with the flow of the game go with the flow of the game you know what i'm saying that's how it has to be so he has to become that person now because he's always on the court he knows what's going on but this is a this is a opportunity for him to see um Ushijima from the from the sidelines you know what i'm saying seeing how other people set from the sidelines seeing how other people defend from the sidelines he can see all of these things while keeping score he can do all of that stuff so i think this is a great opportunity for hinata in my opinion for him to really learn more about the sport um and he's gonna be a beast when he gets back if he really knows what he's there for so that is all i have to say appreciate y'all leave a like on the video and of course guys um leave a comment in the comment section and i will catch you guys later man for episodes three and four peace